Hello children, today we are going to do an activity on factors and multiples. So for that activity, you need to make this grid. And what are the things you require to make that grid is file paper or A4 sheet, whichever you have at your home. Then you require rulers, whatever you have, whichever the small or the big one. Then you need pencils and you need some crayons too. Right? So let's start with the activity. As you can already see that I have made a grid and I have written numbers from 1 to 13 here and 1 to 13 this side also. So first I am going to color the grid. The first row I am going to color with blue. Right? So like this I am going to fill the color blue here and the same way you have to fill the color in your sheet. Right? You have to fill all the boxes here, like this, all the boxes, right? So as I, you can see that I have filled all the boxes, all the squares with blue color. So after filling this, now you have to leave one box and color each alternate box, like this. I am using orange color, you have to fill all the alternate box now you have to leave one in between and you have to color the alternate with the color you want whichever color you wish you can use and you can uh, color the boxes like this now after this you have to select another color i'm going to use pink so now you are going to change the color and color every third square like this the first block then again the third one again the third one right and like this the, all the third boxes you have to color now again you need to change the color I'm just going to take yellow and now you have to change the color and color every fourth block like this every fourth block first again third fourth block I have colored now one, two, three, four. Now again the fourth block I am coloring. One, two, three, four. Again the fourth block I am coloring. Now again you have to change the color. Again I am repeating blue now. And I will be now coloring every fifth block. Alright. So I will start from this side. This is the fifth. Then this is the fifth one. Alright children. Now, after this, I am again going to change the color and then I will be coloring every sixth square. Every sixth square I am going to color. Right? So, like this, I have colored every sixth square. Now, after this, again I am going to change the color and color every seventh block. So, here... 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7th block is not there so only one block I am going to color again I am going to change the color I am going to take yellow and I am going to color every 8th block so I am going to color the 8th block after this we, don't, uh, we are not getting any 8th again I am going to change the uh, color and now I am going to color the 9th block after that, I am again going to change and color the 10th block. After this, so children, you can see here that I have colored all the grids according to the number given. Children, here in the blackboard, I could only cover up till 13. You can take as many numbers as you want according to the space there in your page all right and you have to follow this pattern and color the boxes so here after coloring the boxes there i can tell you one more thing what is the thing how to find out the factors and multiples right so to find out the multiples first i'll talk about the multiples so here one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 
these all numbers are the multiples of 1 now coming to the multiples of 2 so 2 here 4 then 6 then 8 then 10 then 12 now all these numbers are the multiples of 2 here 3 3 6 then 9 then 12 these are the multiples of 3 4 multiples the first one is 4 then 8 then 12 now multiples of 5 5 and 10 multiples of 6 6 and 12 so here you are getting the multiples children and how to get the factors if you are moving from uh, this side to this side we will be getting multiples so multiple sorry factors factors of 2 1 and 2 factors of 3 1 and 3 factors of 4 1 2 and 4 factors of 5 1 and 5 and factors of 6 it is 1 2 3 and 6 then factors of 7 1 and 7 factors of 8 1 2 4 and 8 factors of 8 factors of 9 1 3 and 9 factors of 10 1 2 5 and 10 factors of 11 1 and 11 factors of 12 1 2 3 4 6 and 12 so for factors of 12 then factors of 30 1 and 30 children we can get one more thing from this colored chart itself what is that that is the prime number when we get the factors 1 and the number itself then that number is a prime number when we get the factor 1 and the number itself it is a prime number here 1 2 4 is the factor so it is not a prime number then 1 and 5 1 and the number itself hence 5 is a prime number then this is also not a prime number 6 then 1 and 7 only these are the factors so 7 is again a prime number 8 is not a prime number 9 is not a prime number 10 is not a prime number but 11 yes 1 and 11 only two factors so 11 is again a prime number 12 is not a prime number 13 again 1 and 13 so with this we can find out the prime numbers so with this grid we are able to get factors multiples and we can also find the prime numbers we can also find the twin primes the two primes which are coming together three coming together but the difference between those two primes should be two so three minus two is it two three and two are they twin primes no why because the difference between these two primes is not two but if we talk about 5 and 7, are they twin primes? Yes, because the difference between the 2 is 2 and we have a composite number in between. Again, 11 and 13. Yes, these two are prime numbers and these two are twin primes also as the difference between 13 and 11 is 2 and we get a composite number in between. So children, with this simple grid and activity, we are able to get the prime numbers, the twin primes, the factors and multiples. I hope you are going to practice, you are going to try out this activity and send it to me. I hope with this the concept of factors, multiples, prime numbers will be very much clear to you all. Enjoy the activity children have a good day.